she's patting her face clean. Why am I so emotional today? I just want to hug her. I just want glazed donut hugs, okay? Hi, Harper's Bazaar. It's Bailey Madison, and I am here to show you my nighttime routine. I know that Hailey Bieber has been talking about looking like a glazed donut, but if there is any celebrity that looks like a glazed donut, it is Bailey Madison. Oh my God, that skin though. I want that skin on my nails. Don't take that out of contact. You know how the glossy donut nails are in? I'm gonna shut my mouth while I'm ahead. First up, I have to put my hair up because, you know, necessities. My nighttime routine has been a work in progress lately. I was filming the show Pretty Little Liars, Original Sin in upstate New York, and we experienced every season possible, which meant my skin, it just went through a lot between makeup 19 hours a day and blood and sweat and tears on our show. So I have finally found a routine that has been working and I'm excited to share with you guys. Blood. I've never seen the Pretty Little Liars show, but why was there blood on her face? And I hope it was costume blood and not real blood. Is Pretty Little Liars the show with um, Mitchell, Shay Mitchell? Is she a singer as well? That's Demi Lovato. Is Shay Mitchell a singer? I like Shay Mitchell, but I think this is the same show as someone who has never seen it. Tell me if I need to, but overall, I can't believe that her skin has been through that much costume, makeup, special effects props, and looks this glowy. Either her makeup artist is like Charlotte Tilbury or Pat McGrath, or the canvas of skin that she is applying this to is just phenomenal. I mean, but look at that. I don't think I've ever seen celebrity skin that looks like this. And like, that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot, okay. My first step is the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I love them, I swear by them. I've just got a new pack. Cue like beautiful music when you open up a <laughs> new pack of makeup wipes. I just go in with a wipe first all over my skin. Also, anyone who's watching that are skin experts, if I do anything wrong, just tell me, please. And I'm, I'm all here to listen and learn. <laughs> I am not by any means a professional. I know some of you are, so. We do not expect professionals. Oh my God. So low key, this is an internal like anxiety that I have. As someone who never critiques people, but always critiques processes or brands, I often worry about some people taking it the wrong way, right? Because you can state an opinion and depending on who's receiving that and the mood that they're in, they can take it so many different ways. And for for me, it's about analyzing, scrutinizing, learning, and having fun, and helping you figure out what works for your skin, when what a lot of celebrities use might not be best for everyone. So I love that she has explicitly stated that she's open to feedback. I love it. Literally, when people come in as clients who watch YouTube videos, I literally say, do you want the YouTube Cassandra Bankson, or do you want the medical esthetician practicing underneath the dermatologist Cassandra Bankson? Because they are two very, very different things, depending on how we react to some of the questionable substances that people put on their faces. One of those questionable substances is makeup wipes. And I have to say this as someone who has literally used these exact same products before. The Neutrogena makeup remover wipes removed the tough makeup for me. But are they overall good for your skin? No. They're so bad. The whole thing about makeup wipes is that they're not eco-friendly. They're really just pushing makeup and dirt deeper into your pores or across your face. Unless you're doing something like a legit double cleanse where you're using some sort of an oil cleanser or micellar cleanser and then removing that with some sort of a treatment cleanser. A lot of that dirt and grime can just be pushed around and shoved in. And then makeup wipes don't really have a lot of things that dissolve. If they did, they would be too irritating. Think about like applying a cleanser with a detergent on your face. You wouldn't leave that on your face, right? Because of that, makeup wipes don't include those detergents, but some of those uh, detergents or your sulfates or those cleansing items are what actually help to break down makeup, dirt, grime, and gunk. So if you don't have that in the makeup wipe, Number one, it just looks clean. It's not actually breaking things down. And then you're just leaving fragrance and like oils and goo on your skin. And don't just take it from me, take it from UV makeup underneath a woods lamp. We literally have a video on this YouTube channel showing the application of UV makeup and removing half of the face with a makeup wipe and half of the face with an actual double cleanse. And the impact that it makes is, it is surreal. I'm leaving it as the very first link in the description as well as in the comments. I don't know how her skin looks this good while using these. And as a very busy actress, I'm 
I'm glad she found something that works for her and I'm sure that, you know, she relies on them. But if I might recommend a really nice micellar cleanser or like a double cleanse, mm. like if she's looking like a 10 out of 10, but if we were to remove the makeup wipes and get her a double cleanse, that's how we get to an 11 out of 10. I will be in the comments learning from you guys for sure. If my mom was watching, she would be telling me to go gentle. She used to always say to me, and she still does, she's like, Bailey, your eyelashes are forever. You have to be gentle on your eyelashes. So I usually just go in like an up motion. My next step would be using this cleanser. La you, <laughs> La do. I don't know how to say it properly because it's really fancy sounding. This is like a milk cleanser, so it's super nice and gentle on the skin. I found all of these products at a place called Rescue Spa in New York City. I'm gonna go in with a bit more. And then I'm just gonna put a bit of water and rub it together so it's like... I have to say, all of my OCD has been quelled with the hair pulled back with the water tap turned off and with the emulsifying of the cleanser. This just gives me the happy tingles. Wow, she's using a cleanser after the makeup wipe. Actually, like, do I have to retract what I said about the makeup wipes? Because if you're going to use a makeup wipe, this is how you do it. You use it for no reason, but then you use another cleanser after. I'm really impressed. Now, I don't know this spa that she's talking about. She's kind of making me think I might need to uh, book a treatment and go because her skin is glowing. But this Lot You Biologique Recharge Cleansing Milk does look very interesting. They're not telling me the price, so I'm a little suspicious. But it does say that it is makeup removing and moisturizing. It doesn't have ingredients though. I'm kind of wondering what is going on. It says log in to purchase. I don't want to log in to purchase. No, 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 no. It is super suspicious that they won't tell us if it's vegan or cruelty free or what the ingredients actually are. They're saying that it's nourishing without dehydrating. They say it has a light texture with things like hazelnut, sweet almond oil, jojoba extract, coconut and vitamin E and wheat germ. That sounds great. I'm very interested to know what is actually going on in here, I would guess that there are ingredients in the cleanser uh, that we would also see in moisturizers, things like caprylic triglyceride, maybe even some shea butter if it does have this milky texture and milky consistency along with some of those oils. Very interesting, very suspicious. I'm glad it works for her, but if you are looking for a milky cleanser that I would recommend, there are two from different K-Beauty brands that I love. There is one from Metacube. It is the red cleanser. They have a regular cleanser and a cleansing oil. They are so good and less expensive. And then there is an expensive of one, I think it's called Toridin or Toridin. They have like these different serum ampules with different colors, but the cleanser that actually goes with them is super milky, super silky, super beautiful on the skin. And then I just start to go in. I have learned to really appreciate a nighttime routine. I feel like a lot of my life is really go, go, go. And I feel like we can all just be so busy with whatever we do in our day-to-day -day life and usually at night, you know, the stresses of the day can hit you and you're just really excited to climb into bed and go to sleep. And I used to really rush my nighttime process because I was just so excited to get into bed, but I have now used it as the one moment to kind of take a deep breath and oh, well, I guess I'll wash my chest too. <laughs> I'm just can't waste the product, folks. Just kind of to take the time to reflect on the day and cleanse and feel clean and set myself up for a good day the next day. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I just bought this yesterday because I got a facial and I haven't used it before, but it's like supposed to be a face massager that like really cleans your skin and oh, it's amazing. <laughs> this is like, it's my makeup haul of trying to figure things out. This reminds me of those Foreo cleansing brushes. Again, the Foreo cleansing brush is really good. If you want it, get it. But you can find inexpensive little silicone pads like this that you just do manually. And they work very similarly, if not just as well, in my opinion. Now, do you see the way that she's touching her skin? The movements that she's doing? Is she an esthetician? Is she, does she play piano? It, has she just gotten lots of facials? Because the way that she was massaging this product into her skin, she's either gotten some damn good facials or she knows how to give them because this was so beautiful to see how gentle she was with her hands and the massage movements she actually used on her face. 
I truly believe that skincare should be a ritual, not just a routine. It should be something that you get to appreciate yourself, your biology, and your skin with. Because when you think about it, we're constantly rushing throughout the day. And a lot of the things that we wear, whether it's a purse or a handbag with a specific logo on it, or, you know, sunglasses, or even the makeup container that we open up and we reapply, you know, our compact foundation. A lot of that is external facing. Like, what is she or he using? You know, how much did it cost? What brand is it? Whereas with skincare, nobody knows if you spent $5 or $500. And if you like the scent, or if you like the texture, if you like the feel, if you like what it does for your skin, if you like the person who created that line, then all of a sudden it becomes something that's truly for you because nobody else can tell what it is. And I just, I love that. It's a moment to truly take care of yourself. I love that she shares this philosophy and I love what she's doing with her face. I just, I'm actually still perplexed that like, this is her actual skin. Like she literally has glazed donut skin. Probably it's because my show is like horror and slasher themed, but I always have this irrational fear when I'm <laughs> wiping my makeup off and I can't open my eyes that someone's gonna be behind me. <laughs> so that's like the only stressful part of my <laughs> skincare process. Irrational fears, anxiety sisters unite. Hey, I get it. And that feeling of like having your eyes closed, having blurry vision or being in a susceptible position, you know, or a point of weakness, it is totally biological from like our Neanderthal days, okay? It is legit a thing. And as a person with clinical anxiety, I fucking get it, okay? I love that she's patting her face clean. Why am I so emotional today? I just want to hug her. I just want glazed donut hugs, okay? So now that my skin is cleansed, I am going to go in with my saving grace. Now I'm going to be honest, these products are definitely on the pricier end. I've for the first time decided to, I think, really just invest in my skin and listen to what it needs. And these are the products that just happen to really help and heal my skin. I definitely have to be cautious with making sure I'm not using too much and <laughs> saving as much product as I can, but it's their lotion PH50, it's a 1970. I'm obsessed with it. I put a bit on a cotton ball like this and then I go in up motions and I usually kind of try to pull my skin here and go in a little bit rougher on this end because this is where I have been tending to break out lately. And then, oh my gosh, okay, we love a disclaimer. And this is a perfect example of if this works for your skin, if you like it, spend your money on luxury skincare, invest, but you don't have to invest in your skin by overspending on products. You can find investments like a K-Beauty sunscreen that's under 20 bucks or investments like a retinoid from The Ordinary for under 10 that work really well and still allow you to invest in your skin without having to spend hundreds of dollars. So I love that she has this disclaimer that this is one new to her and number two, something that just works. But I do want to know how much this is costing us. This P50 1970, I feel like I've heard the name of this line before, but I know nothing about it. And again, it's not giving me the price or the ingredients. It's just like order now by logging in. It says it's exfoliating, mattifying, and purifying. They won't even tell me what's in this. I'm so mad. How am I supposed to analyze and scrutinize this routine if I can't even find the ingredients? And you see, when a brand wants to charge you like 500 plus dollars for a product and then doesn't tell you the ingredients, I get suspicious. Is it that expensive? Is it like those golden toilets that celebrities have in their house? I just wanna know what's in you. <laughs> Even Amazon is not pulling through on this one. I don't know if this has lactic acid or phenol in it. I'm getting conflicting information from different corners of the web. Again, if this works for her, I'm so glad. Keep using it. But if you want something inexpensive and fragrance-free, here are some options. If you want something gentle, look for polyhydroxy acids. This one from the Inky List is great. It's under $10. Polyhydroxy acids are exfoliating, but they have large molecules. So they're not overly irritating, especially if they penetrate into the skin. So that is what I would recommend over her Biologique that I can't find the ingredients or the pricing of. I'm just, mm, I'm so mad. And then they taught me <laughs> to go up like this on your skin and it's supposed to be like, kind of circulating the blood up and making sure that you're getting a good wipe down. This girl has gotten some good facials. Okay, so there is actually a facial technique where people 
slap your face. Literally, it's like a slapping facial to promote blood flow and circulation. Do I recommend it at home? If you're not hurting yourself, why not? When it comes to pulling the skin, a lot of people will say you don't do that because you're causing premature wrinkles. Listen, there's something called pulling the skin and then there's anchoring the skin. If you anchor the skin, it's totally fine, but like pulling and yanking, you know, probably not recommended. Now, what she's doing is actually very interesting. I don't think it makes the biggest difference. It's not something that you need to worry about at home, but by applying her toner in this direction, it's actually working with the vellus hairs on your face. If you look really closely at your face, you have all these tiny little baby hairs sticking out. And if you notice, they sometimes stick out in the same direction, usually kind of out and down. And what these hairs are, are these little hairs that are protruding from your follicles, your pores. And if you want to get products into your pores, you can use that hair or that pore, that follicle, as kind of like a roadmap into the skin. So by applying things in this upward motion, you're literally trying to move things along that hair into the skin. Now, does it make the biggest difference? Does it matter if you go up, down, left, or right when you're applying? Not really. But based on a scientific perspective, and if you go to a spa, if they know what they're doing and if they know anatomy, they probably will apply those liquids in an upward motion or cleansing in an upward motion and then a downward motion to get product in and then make sure it all comes out. So very, very interesting. Okay, on this side, really gentle on the under eye area. I have to remind myself of that supposed to be really good for anti-aging and they said you can't start too young so okay so I'm gonna go in now with the mask so I'm gonna go in with this mask O2 <laughs> I don't know what that means but I know I really like it and I love this mask because when I'm in the middle of press and I think just like wearing a lot of makeup and on camera a lot this mask is really good with um just anti-pollution and being outside in the summer and sweating it seems to also kind of firm your skin and give it a bit of a natural lift I just bought this at Target <laughs> it's my favorite thing I've ever bought one of them it's just this mask brush which I know what you're thinking, why do you need a mask brush? And here's why, I bite my nails and when I have to feel like put together, I <laughs> get gel X extensions on for press and all the product ends up underneath my nails. And so the brush makes it like an art project, keeps the routine really fun. So I go heavier around the lip area because, I don't know, it's supposed to plump it guys. Just in an up motion all around. And then you're supposed to also contour your eyebrow with it. So you're supposed to go thicker on the eyebrow, thicker on the lips, and they know better, so I listen. I don't even know what this brand is and she is selling me on it. I love that she loves to use this, but I'm very confused because if this is a wash off mask, why would you put on a toner or lotion to wash it off? Like this is giving me Kendall Jenner vibes, right? Like we apply a $400 mask to the skin and rinse it down the drain. Makes no sense. Now, when we look at this mask, again, they're not giving us the price or the ingredients. They're just claiming that it's a mask VIP O2 that neutralizes pollutants to prevent them from reaching skin cells. Questionable claim, but okay. It helps eliminate eliminate cellular waste built up by the oxidation of lipids and proteins. So it must be either exfoliating in some way or providing antioxidants in some form. That's what it sounds like to me. It contains moisturizing active ingredients to nourish skin. Specifically says it fights against atmospheric pollution and urban living. So I'm wondering if this has antioxidants, probably has things like vitamin E, maybe a ferulic acid. They're talking about a radiant complexion. So maybe there's vitamin C or something inside of here that would be brightening to the skin. I just want to know what's in these. Can somebody send me a photo? of like the ingredient list on this and the price. I love that she's enjoying this and it definitely looks hydrating. Again, educated guess, I would just say there's probably something like squalene as an oil in here. I would also assume that this has something like shea butter because it has kind of this white color to it. There's maybe a little bit of glycerin as well that we normally find in hydrating masks. I'm so curious, but again, I would actually apply this right after the cleanser because you would wash it off, right? You would apply this before your toner. If it works for her, I'm happy. But if you wanted some other face masks that are less expensive, Expensive, but I think work just as well, if not better. Three Ships has one of the best masks. It's a clay mask that kind of rivals that viral Kata Lee one. If you've got the option, babes, Three Ships for $17 over the $50 one any day. Beauty Pie has some amazing, very hydrating face masks. And I still love the Juice Beauty Bamboo Mask and the Dermalogica Bamboo Mask. If you have dry skin, Dermalogica Bamboo Mask. If you have combo to oily skin, Juice Beauty Black Charcoal Bamboo Mask. Mwah. Fraction of the price of this, they're actually transparent about the ingredients, okay? Okay. How are you guys doing? 
I wish I could see you and we could like do our nighttime routines together. <laughs> a lot less awkward. The funny thing though is when I'm really tired at night, sometimes I do like nighttime routine videos alone to myself just to talk through the process to make sure that I actually do everything I'm supposed to do. So I feel like I've been kind of prepping for this for a while. Okay. You guys, I would love to give Bailey Madison a facial or I would love to FaceTime her as we do our skincare routines. If anybody wants to give her my shell phone number, she can call me on my shell phone literally anytime. It would be so fun. I wonder if we could budgify her routine if I could find the ingredients for these. Somebody send me a picture of the back of these bottles and the prices of these ingredients and somebody give her my phone number. Let's do it. Okay, so Best thing to do is to let this sit for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm up super early tomorrow, so I'm gonna go on the 10 minutes, not the 15 minute size. So I'm just going to set a timer and then I'll be back for this. Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Again, I'll miss you. I'll be right back. <laughs> and we pop. We do a little dance to ensure that we pop. I think my mom's gonna be really proud of me watching this. I don't know if her mom is proud of her, but I am proud of her. I will be Bailey's acne mom, acne big sister. I mom, mom, I don't know. No, no one can replace mom. I will be her acne big sister though. Oh my God. So I'm very confused about this mask. Did she like wipe it off completely? Or did she just like kind of wipe it off and she's using it as like a leave on moisturizer? This is why I really have a problem with these brands that won't tell you the ingredients or the pricing. I understand that like Dermalogica, there's a pro line. Obagi has a pro line. There are certain brands that are only available to professionals. Like if you want, a phenol peel, you can't sell that over the counter. I get that. But at the same time, I feel like if there is anything that is made for mass consumers, the ingredients and the pricing should be transparent. So that is me and my pet peeve and also Steve speaking up about that. The next step tonight, <laughs> it's an exciting plan. We're gonna moisturize and I'm going to show you all of my face tools that I have to bring everywhere with me. We are going to start off with this Beaumont. Base moisturizer. It's really good for at night. It's a bit too much for me during the day. My skin I have found just has a mind of its own. So sometimes it can be dry. Sometimes it's combination. Sometimes it's oily. I don't know how that's possible, but it just is for my skin. So it's kind of a day to day process of seeing and assessing the situation. And sometimes I need less. Sometimes I need a bit more love. Tonight, we're going to try to just keep it really light and simple just so it can breathe. So I'm gonna put moisturizer here. I'm gonna rub it in slightly, but not too much. And I'm gonna go in with it. Okay, cool. We've got two to choose from tonight, guys. <laughs> um, which will she choose? I don't know. This was from a makeup artist that actually came on for a few episodes and she gifted it to me and I do. I love it so, so, so much. But I'm gonna stick with this tonight. Um, I just like to go up. Truth be told, I grind my teeth like nobody's business. And it took me forever to figure out that that was the case and that that's what was happening. Um, I used to just wake up really puffy and in like a lot of pain in my jaw. And I just thought maybe I wasn't drinking enough water or I don't know what I thought, but I didn't think I was grinding. So I like doing this at night just to try to relieve some of the pressure. I like to just give it a little massage, always working up, and then you drain down for your lymphs. I love her. This is so smart. The question is like, there's a lot going on here. Again, she has gotten some good facials and some good skincare advice and I'm still perplexed. Like, how is this your skin? This is probably some of the glowiest, most glazed donut celebrity skin that I've ever seen. When it comes to gua sha, I actually have learned quite a bit about the cultural relevance and history of gua sha, especially because it used to be practiced all over the body as a healing modality. But it is very, very different than lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is completely different and that's kind of what she's doing right here. Yes, you do have lymph nodes. You specifically have them in the axillary areas and elsewhere on the body as well. Lymphatic is different from regular massage, which is very different from gua sha. And if you want an entire tutorial, we actually have a gua sha tutorial on Instagram with a licensed acupuncturist and Chinese medicinal practicer, which was amazing. Fun fact, I always thought that you go like this with gua sha. You actually don't. You kind of want to keep it flat. And sometimes you actually want to go from the outside in, especially if you're kind of working towards the eye area. I love that she is enjoying her 
tools and that she is using them. I don't know what moisturizer this is. Again, she's using a lot of very interesting things. This is a Valmont Prime Renewing Pack for $245. I love that she's using a moisturizer to nourish her skin as she's using it to help her tools glide. Again, I would literally use something a fraction of the price. If you want a really good moisturizer, Pacifica Beauty has the Quinoa Sleeping Pack. If you want some K-Beauty, uh, the Purito Derma Pack Sleep Mask is going to be just as good, if not better than this. I would not spend this kind of money. Again, if she has it and she wants to, then fine. They're saying that it has triple DNA and liposomal RNA. Are we talking salmon testicles? Fun fact, there is actually salmon sperm used in skincare PDRN. If you want a less exploitative to the fish alternative, this is a K-Beauty Ganbel. It's PDRN. It also has peptides. It also has DNA in it. If you want to get down to it, deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, or PDRN is essentially sugars, salts, etc. And when you actually break things down into their molecules, they are essentially hydrators. It's not like it's going to boost DNA in your skin. But again, why spend $245 on this prime renewing pack when there are much less expensive options available? Again, Purito is a good one. Here's a good one. Get yourself some Inky List Peptide Moisturizer. You're good to go for under 15 instead of 245. I just learned this as well. And I'm just gonna spread this bit more up here. Tap, tap, tap. Serum time. Again, my skin, less is more. So these two serums I find have worked and they don't usually clog my skin. So this one is basically just hydration and I fly so much. So it helps just put a bit of life back in my skin. This is, it says placenta. <laughs> Listen to, you know, it's supposed to be amazing. We'll see, I just do like two little drops. Two little drops. Tap it in. Tap it in. I love her! Oh my God, I wanna slap my face <laughs> on FaceTime calls with her. She is so fun and I love that she's genuinely enjoying this process. The whole thing though is that why are we applying the serums after the moisturizer? When we look at our cleanse consistency complete diagram, the consistency step is talking about what's going to absorb and then what is going to prevent absorption. And normally moisturizers actually seal things in like moisture. They can impart moisture into the skin or they can kind of protect the skin. Now, if you're trying to get a very liquidy serum through a thick moisturizer that's not gonna work so well. So I would actually do this opposite. I would actually use these serums with her tools and then put her moisturizer on after. That would give her the most benefits. Now again, they're not telling us what's in these, what price, anything like that. All we've got to go off of is the name and seeing that one of them is placenta-based, you can have animal-based placenta or you can have like a soy or a plant-based placenta. It can be basically very hydrating. It could have some stem cells if you really wanna get into it. Then the other one looks like this elastin boosting one. Remember we have collagen and elastin in our skin. The collagen is the strong stuff that builds up the bottom layers of our skin and the elastin, think of an elastic, an el elastic rubber band. Those rubber bands are the stretchy stuff. So if this has elastin in it, is it somehow like a peptide blend that's stimulating the skin cells in your skin called fibroblasts to actually create more elastin? Maybe for the price they're charging, which I don't even know the price, uh, probably that's what they're claiming. However, I can't speak to that because I literally cannot see the ingredient list. If you really want something to stimulate collagen and elastin, honestly, lasers and chemical peels if you're going professional. And if you're going at home, chemical exfoliants, like those toners we spoke about. Look for some BHA, look for some mandelic acid, look for some glycolic acid. In the word of dermatologist Alexis Steffens, start low and go slow. You don't want to burn your skin off and like freak it out. Overall, there are some things that you can do at home, including retinoids that are going to give you a much better bang for your buck than a lot of these really overpriced products. You know, if you really want an elastin boosting serum and you want to spend 200 plus bucks, the clinical skin, the clinical skin is at least doing something, okay? Don't at me with the luxury beauty. <laughs> Moral of the story, if you have a ton of money and want to spend it on luxury beauty, please at least spend it on ethical brands that know what's going on and that are good. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get great skin. You don't have to overspend on skincare if you want something that works for you because there are budget things available. Again, I've listed all of my recommendations as swaps for what I think she's using in the description, but there are some budget friendly options that I would recommend instead. And you know what that is? That's a bright idea. I literally, the light bulb went out. So I literally just have a light bulb. Dang. Now, I'm going to spray my face with 
oxygen. This is also new to the table, but we're gonna try to save my skin with all these flights. So this is kind of like the final step. Is she spraying her face with oxygen or is this a liquid? Again, they won't tell us the price of the ingredients, so I don't know. The one thing that I don't think a lot of people realize though is that oxygen can actually oxidize the skin. Fun fact, oxygen actually speeds up cellular aging. Yes, I know that sounds confusing and hear me out, keep fucking breathing. If you stop breathing, you're not gonna get old and wrinkly because you're not gonna live very long if you don't breathe, okay? Keep breathing, but fun fact, Actually breathing in oxygen and having cells use oxygen increases aging. It is literally cellular respiration. So when I see a lot of people like spraying oxygen onto their skin, calling it like this anti-aging treatment or people like drinking pure oxygen in like Las Vegas, it's like, do you know this is actually accelerating aging? And again, if you are medically prescribed oxygen because your O2 levels are low, you have breathing or respiratory issues, please keep it up, it's good. Stay on that, okay? Always listen to your doctor, physician, and prescribing care providers. But when it comes to inhaling pure oxygen or spraying pure oxygen on your face, again, there's O2, there's O3, there's different things. But overall, based on the studies that we have for cellular respiration, I don't think it's a good idea. And I don't actually think it's anti-aging. If anything, it's probably pro-inflammatory and pro-aging. So ask a dermatologist, but just keep that in mind, okay? Keep that, a lot of brands will try to sell you on this, telling you it's anti-aging. I'm not buying it. So there's that. To go in for some pimple patches. I'm obsessed with pimple patches, overnight pimple patches. They're the best. Um, these from Panoxyl have been working amazing. Um, they're just like really good healing technology. They're good for especially like if I'm on camera, which I am tomorrow and I feel like I have things coming up. So I can see that I kind of have a little crack in here. So put it right here. I also love like waking up in the morning and then you take them off and then you see all like the goop in there. Some people love it. Some people love pimple videos. I'm that person, Dr. Pimple Popper. Hit me up. I'd love to see you at work. Um, can Bailey and I FaceTime and pop each other's pimples? Oh my God, I absolutely love this. She's using budget-friendly beauty. This Panoxyl is like $10. See, this is what we're talking about. A glazed donut, gorgeous skinned woman who still has breakouts, still has a couple things here and there that does not change her beauty or her worth at all. And she's using products that are medically backed that don't cost an arm and a leg. Again, if you wanna spend your money on luxury products, you can, but like if this is working for her, I bet you I have so many other acne-friendly goodies that are gonna work so much better for her at a fraction of the price. Oh my God, what I would do to get her face inside of the palms of my hands. I love that she uses these pimple patches and if you get the goo out of them, oh, so good. There are so many pimple patches out there on the market. Zit Sticker are some of my favorite. Peach Slices has some great ones. There are also pimple patches from Hero Cosmetics. There are so many out there, but when you take them off, you get all that hydrocholine goodness. Mm. Is scrumptious the right word? Do we literally have the same face? I, well, obviously not. She's a glowing queen. I literally popped a pimple. Don't do what I do. I literally popped a pimple on my eyebrow in the exact same spot right before filming this video. Do you see it? Is it red? Eyebrow pimples! Sisters unite! It's the new Road Lip Balm. It's filled with peptides and I've been loving it. It's salted caramel, so it's like an extra dessert of the night. Okay. And I've already brushed my teeth because I'm ahead of schedule. We love good oral hygiene. Okay, did this not just glaze the donut? I knew there was some glazed donut energy going on here from step one. This lip thing just confirms. I don't know if she knows Hailey Bieber. She's probably friends with all the celebrities. I don't care. All I know is that Bieber Road Skin is sold out. And I have been trying to get my hands on it for like five of the restocks. I even sign up for the newsletter and then the restocks happen and then I can't get my grubby little paws on them. I have been wanting to try this so bad. The lip gloss looks so good on her. But I swear to God, Haley Bieber, I know she's talking about glazed donut skin. Bailey Madison is the one whose skin is looking like a glazed donut. And I love that she has a glazed donut with little pimples. She has human skin. She is gorgeous. She is a sister. She is a pimple popper. And what I would give to rub products on her face and watch Dr. Pimple Popper videos with her. I could literally remake her routine for so much less money if somebody can help me find the active ingredients and the prices of what she's using. I have listed my recommendations thus far down below if you want to click that. And I think that she is on that same show as Shay Mitchell because she's talking about the Liars show. Is that a vampire show? Like what the, f what happens in this TV series? Is it a show? Is it a movie? Somebody, 
I live under a rock, okay? Overall, remember to use gua sha if you understand the cultural relevance and history and do it its due justice. Do remember to reapply your SPF, which she didn't do because uh, it's nighttime. Remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically, which she obviously is. And remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this uh, little trip down memory lane with Shay Mitchell's routine. I really hope they're from the same show. Otherwise, I am embarrassing myself so badly. Love you guys. Bye.